Fund selectors rebuke long slash short funds amid frenetic markets and end of the cycle feel and heightened levels of stock dispersion have spurred asset managers to launch a flurry of long slash short equity products in recent months, but fund selectors are not easily sold on their merits. Man GLG, Schroders, Franklin Templeton and Neuberger Berman have all launched long slash short strategies this year and, characteristic of this group's strategies as a whole, all the funds have different objectives. In September, Man GLG poached RWC's US long slash short team with a view to launching a strategy, while in October, Schroeder's partnered with US manager Nuveen to offer two existing strategies to UK investors via its alternative use its platform. Elsewhere, K2 Advisors launched a suite of liquid hedge fund SACAVs that included equity long slash short products, and, in February, Neuberger Berman unveiled a strategy for Steve Eisman, pictured, the manager immortalized in the film The Big Short after successfully shorting the U.S. subprime market prior to the financial crisis. The term long slash short can cause confusion because not all such products slot nicely into the same investment association sector, making comparisons difficult. For example, James Clooney's Jupiter Absolute Return Fund falls into the targeted absolute return sector, whereas Chris Kinder's Columbia Threadneedle UK Extended Alpha is in the UK All Companies Peer Group. Eisman's Neuberger Berman Absolute Alpha Fund, meanwhile, is cited in the offshore faux absolute return sector. Kinder says of his fund, it's a long slash short fund but it's not absolute return, meaning it doesn't sit within the absolute return universe. It will sit within a long asset allocation, most of which are benchmarked against the all share. So beating the all share is the ultimate deliverable. According to last word research, fund selectors are rebuffing equity long slash short and absolute return strategies. Between Q2 and Q3 this year, the number of investors looking to decrease their exposure increased from 8% to 10%, while those looking to increase fell from 19% to 13%. See chart below. When it comes to absolute return, those planning to add to their exposure during the next 12 months increased marginally, from 15% to 16% between Q2 and Q3, but those looking to cut exposure increased from 17% to 25%. According to Morningstar data, there have been net outflows from long slash short equities every month for the past 12 months, amounting to a 10.3 billion euros, 8.8 .8 billion pound, loss for the asset class. See chart below. Short Shrift Eisman describes recent market conditions as having a frenetic feel, as illustrated by the short-lived rotation into value stocks in September. In August, it was buy growth stocks, short cyclical, short financial, and in September, it was buy cyclicals and financials and short growth stocks, he says. It's become very volatile, and correlations have gone for more on this story, visit the news article link.